Welcome back. My name is Ashish and today we will discuss on compounding of contraventions under Foreign Exchange Management Act 1999. Section 15 of the Foreign Exchange Management Act 1999 allows the Reserve Bank to compound a contravention defined under Section 13 of Foreign Exchange Management Act 1999 except contraventions under Section 3 subsection A. But do you know the meaning of compounding of contraventions? And under what circumstances a contravention cannot be compounded under FEMA? Well, we will find out in this video. So to begin with, let's understand the meaning of compounding of contraventions. Compounding of contraventions refers to the settlement of the offence committed by the contravener by imposing monetary penalty instead of going to litigation. It is a voluntary process where a person seeks compounding of an admitted contravention. Now, we need to know when a contravention cannot be compounded. A contravention committed by any person within a period of three years from the date on which a similar contravention committed by him was compounded under the compounding rules, such contraventions would not be compounded and the relevant provisions of the FEMA shall apply. However, a contravention committed after the end of three-year term from the date on which the contravention was compounded previously is deemed as the first contravention. Those contraventions that relates to a transaction for which proper approval or permission from the government or any statutory authority have not been acquired, such contraventions shall not be compounded until the required approval is obtained from the concerned authorities. Further, no breach can be compounded under the Rule 11 of the Foreign Exchange Compounding Proceedings Rules 2000 in case where the Directorate of Enforcement has adjudicated the matter and appeal has been launched under Section 17 or 19 of the Foreign Exchange Management Act 1999. The petitioner should confirm in the undertaking that should be submitted along with the compounding application that they have not filed appeal under Section 17 or 19 of the Foreign Exchange Management Act 1999. Now let us know the procedure for compounding under FEMA. Firstly, the application for compounding needs to be submitted to the compounding authority. Then it shall be examined and any other relevant information, record, or documents can be asked for. To pass an order of compounding and determining the sum on amount on which the contravention will be compounded, the following elements can be taken into account. Firstly, amount of gain of unfair advantage if quantifiable due to contravention, the loss amount caused to an authority or agency due to the contravention, economic benefits arising to the contravener from delayed compliance or compliance avoided, the repetitive nature of the contravention, track record, or past history of the non-compliance on the part of the contravener, the conduct of the contravener in undertaking transaction and in disclosure of full facts in the application and submissions made in the personal hearing and other factors as deemed to be relevant and appropriate. The Reserve Bank shall issue the order of compounding within 180 days from the date of application based on averments made in the application as well as other documents and submissions made in this context from the contravener in the personal hearings. There are quite a few advantages of compounding of offences, like it is a shortcut method to avoid litigation. Moreover, any further proceeding can be avoided through this process and it also reduces the burden on judiciary. I hope that this video was helpful. For more such videos, I would advise you to subscribe this channel. Thank you so much for watching.